Yo, yo, yo. We're going to talk about this Fannie Willis case. Uh, man, wow. Wow. Uh, you know, everybody, everyone has covered this case uh, to agnosium, but it, it was just some things that, that stood out to me in this case that was unexplainable. It was funny. Everything about the courtroom drama that you see on TV, uh, it it never plays out the way that you want it to happen in real life because it's a such thing called discovery. So both sides pretty much know what's coming out. But this case right here, somebody's coming up to my house. Well, I thought somebody was. I guess somebody riding by. This case right here felt like TV, man. Uh, uh, it was crazy. It, I went into this case, I went into this case, uh, uh, this hearing thinking I was going to hate this lady I ended up liking her she was so deliciously uh, what's the good word she, she, she was a she was an actor she was an actor I'll just leave it at that she was a very good actor man it, it, it was good it was it was awesome I loved it I loved everything about it <laughs> oh man Okay, let's start with this. Let's start with this. That dude, he he really did look like a southern gentleman, uh, uh, Nathan Wade. He, you could clearly tell the man was lying. Uh, you know, nobody don't want to have to go up there and tell who he's banging and stuff. Uh, especially while he's going through a whole divorce and all of that. The dude's lying. Uh, you know, he getting this shit together. Uh, he getting this shit together. <laughs> but... <laughs> His facial reactions, man, and looking up into the sky and and all of this type of stuff. Uh, uh, have you ever been on this? Have you ever been with this woman for, you know, this amount of time? Or did you go on this trip and he's trying to get his lies together? Then the whole cash stuff. But Fanny Willis. Fanny Willis. I love this chick, man. I love this chick. I love this chick. That, that lady said I do it big on I did it big on my 50th and then she said that her 50th was the, the worst time of her life but but then she said I don't drink wine I'm a great goose girl <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> I'm a great goose <laughs> I like great goose I can respect that I, I, I you know I fuck with great goose <laughs> y'all know that y'all know that I ain't drinking no great goose right now. Man. So let's get into Fanny Willis. Fanny Willis. I think that she probably covered his ass, man, because she came in there uh hot. She came in there hot. Uh but there's a, that there's a couple of things that I want to hit on. The judge. The judge let that get way out of control. He let that get way out of control. Everybody's saying pretty much saying the same things. But I, I I went back and looked up this judge. That judge was appointed uh, not too long ago. That judge, even though he looks like an old man, that judge is only like 35, 36 years old. He's not very old. He's very new to the, you know, to the court, to the bench. So, you know, these cats in there from Atlanta, uh, you know, they've been working... 20, 25, 30 years. They know how to handle the court. That dude right there let that court get way out of order. Some total for the judge. I think he did. I think he did it about as best as he could do. Because if he would have said anything out of the ordinary, they, you know, they would have, uh, everybody would start talking about racism and stuff. Even though I was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised that, uh, you know that Fanny didn't go to the whole racism card uh, because that's what she immediately did when she when these allegations first came out. She went to the black church and got around a whole bunch of black people and started talking about racism and stuff like that and tried to you know do the the crackling voice uh the sermon and all that bull. Yeah, hmm. but I like her. I like her. 
I mean, she reminds me of me. <laughs> she reminds me of me. <laughs> Somebody that went to college, got degreed up, and still was a whole goddamn nigga. A whole goddamn nigga, man. She, I mean, she went in there, hands on her hip. If you don't know, if you don't know, she was not supposed to come to this trial today. So I really give that uh uh that chick merchant. I get it uh 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 that white attorney uh uh, uh girl uh uh merchant a lot of props because she wasn't expecting the uh she wasn't expecting the to you know interview or or you know uh uh cross examine her on the court. She came in there with her hands on her hip, uh <laughs> uh uh big pink dress, uh, uh, uh I don't know, man. Uh, the shit was like made for TV. It was funny. It was funny. I love it. Yeah, but she came in there with her hands on her hip and she was ready to go. And she gave it all to us. She gave us everything. I mean, you know, black people. Uh, 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 black people keep cash on them. I don't know if that's a black thing. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I kind of think that everybody keep cash on them, man. But you know, if that's a black thing, oh, I did, man. This is a black thing. <laughs> okay, let me get serious. Let me get serious. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. The woman said. The woman said. The woman said, I'm not going to emasculate a black man because he had a, he had an ailment, a disease that he was doing, he was dealing with. But she totally emasculated him. You're you pretty much telling, uh, telling the whole world that the dude can't get his dick up. I'm not going to emasculate him. I'm not going to emasculate Granted. The question was, uh, 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 the, the question didn't much have nothing to do with his, you know, with his illness or whatever he's dealing with. She put that out there. She totally emasculated this dude. I'm like, oh my God, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> his dick couldn't get up. His dick couldn't get up. Well, she didn't say that. She didn't say that, man. But you know, I mean, if you're using contacts, clues, and shit, you know what the fuck that she was talking about. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at this Purdue Ohio State game. This pretty fucking interesting right here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So then the whole story becomes uh, because she said. She said back in 2019 when she was saying that she wasn't going to emasculate a black man, you know, all of this type of jazz. Well, okay. Context clues. Context clues. I mean, if you got an IQ of like 70, probably 75, you could probably deduct what she was talking about. If you was not romantic, uh, romantically involved with this dude at that point, how would you know this dick couldn't get hard? How you know that? No, uh, come on, man. In the history of mandom, I'm a man. I'm a man. No man is going around telling uh, 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 women that he's, you know, that uh, 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 he has ED, erectile dysfunction. That doesn't happen. How would you even know that? Either your mouth is down there or, or you mean, y'all in some kind of conversation with your clothes off that you would ha have to even know that. But I love it. I love it. What really threw me off about this case, what really threw me off about this case was that no one is asking those other attorneys, how do you feel that this dude got this much money for this case and y'all y'all didn't get that same amount of money it's crazy man it's bunkers fucking bunkers uh you know 
you know, she brought her daddy in there, and then they brought some other people in there. Uh, that wasn't about nothing to me. Wasn't about nothing. Uh, you know, her daddy did what the daddy's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Like I said, this case, this case was one for the history books right here. Uh, you know, I thought I seen everything a couple of weeks ago when the, uh, that dude in Las Vegas jumped over the counter and attacked the white woman. <laughs> that was fucking funny. But what what I seen last week tops that. Tops that. She, I mean, she came in hot. She was real hot. This is the person, God, man, absolutely not, absolutely not. God, man, uh, you talking about, this woman got on the stand and said, and said, I don't know where uh, Belize is at. <laughs> I don't know what country the Belize is. <laughs> I'm not a world traveler. This is the person that's, that's, that's prosecuting the, the goddamn president of the United States. She don't know what Belize is at. South America, North America, uh, uh, South America, North America, uh, is two separate continents. Uh, Central America is a, you know, a little twig. Uh, uh, just think of Central America like that little piece between your booty hole and your, uh, uh, sexual organs. It's that little area right there. Central America. That's what Belize is at. She ain't know what she, uh, she ain't know what she, was. wow, man, it was so much that came out of this trial, and her friend, and her friend that buried her, and her friend is very fucking interesting, man, her friend is very fucking interesting, because her friend was, her, her ex-friend, her ex-friend, the one that told on her and said that, you know that they were in fact together uh you know uh, uh prior to 2021 her friend seemed like she was hostile towards the defense and the defense is the one the defense was her witness in other words what i'm trying to say is the people that's going the people that's going at the fanny at this point which are the people who's trying to uh you know protect uh donald trump and and i i, I got some other stuff to say about donald trump later on in this whole trial because I do not believe that this trial goes away just because uh uh this woman right here is is ghetto fabulous. I I don't think the trial goes away. I, I still believe that that's on there. And and, and to be honest man, if the, you know if the grand jury if the grand jury uh uh, uh move forward with it, I mean I'm with it. You know, yeah, I'm with it. But her friend her friend was brought on by Greg, this Roman dude, uh, this Roman dude, and in other words, the people that was going after Fannie Willis, that was they, uh, uh, that was they witness, and she was kind of apprehensive towards them. It, it was hard for them to get questions out of her, uh, and she was like defiant towards them. But when they asked her. The central question of this whole thing, which I think is kind of bonkers, man, because I I, I really don't even much think that it's a matter of dates of you know uh, if you did it before or after. But they was like, uh, how long they've been together? And she pretty much told them, you know, since 2019. <laughs> yeah, she pretty much told them since 2019, and. It was kind of wild, man, because in that same, no, no, not in that same testimony. I want to get it all right. I want to get it all right. I want to get it all right. Because Fanny got, uh, I mean, let's completely forget that, that Fanny, uh, uh, funny, uh, 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 funny, don't even supposed to be listening to, uh, uh, you, you know, you know, other stuff that's going on in the court. She don't supposed to be doing that. She was supposed to be doing that. But she didn't heard all of this stuff. And, you know, she's talking about cash. Uh, 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 she don't do nothing with uh, without cash. And 
her daddy didn't told her how to deal with cash and and you know blah blah blah. But then she caught herself up in the, uh she caught herself up in one. You know I do that from time to time. I you know I get myself into one. I get myself into one. <laughs> This friend that she was with, this friend that she was with, she lived with this friend and then eventually took over her condo. And after all of this talking about cash and stuff, she started telling the, uh, 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 telling the court that she was cash shopping her friend. Okay, you dealing all this cash, but now you're talking about, you know, you cash shopping your friend for this condo. I get cash, man. I I, I kind of get cash. I think it was a bad play. I think it was a bad play for funny, you know, to go up there talking about cash and shit. Uh, you know, when you're a district attorney dealing with, you know, criminals, you know, you was a defense. It, it, it was way too much cash being talked about. And and you're in a legal uh, and you're in a legal uh, uh, realm. That's crazy. Now you got to iron your uh, uh now you got to iron your back uh, uh from the from the goddamn FBI and IRS and then the chick she went on uh yeah I I really do think it was the gray goose I really do think it was the gray goose because she probably said something she probably said something she probably said one of the things I'd never heard a politician say in my life. I don't know the legalities of this. The bruh said, yeah, I got money all the time. You, you know, I go to Publix and, you know, I got $50 here, $50 there, and I threw it down. Or, you know, <laughs> here goes, man. The first campaign, the first time I was running, I took money out of my campaign. I, I took my money out of my campaign. What the fuck, man? <laughs> she didn't just open the floodgates. I took money out of my campaign. You, I said again, and I said again because I don't know uh, Georgia law, and I don't mean you know Georgia may differ from Texas, but it seems like elected officials don't supposed to you know take money from their campaign but you, you, you know i don't know that uh she's very smarter than me uh you know in the, the the whole legal aspect but she was she was ghetto fabulous she was ghetto fabulous uh i can roll with that chick i can roll with that chick I mean, not to mention, you know, she kind of thick with a big ass and shit. But you know, you know, I, I mean, I, I can roll with her. I can roll. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh, you know, strike that down. Uh, 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 just strike that down. It's a, it, it's a couple other things I want to talk about. Uh, with this case, God damn. I was very, uh, I was very pleased that. She, you know, she didn't pull the whole race card like she did in that church and shit. But, you know, chances are she's going to probably go up there and do the whole race card again. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to be looking at the testimonies of the other uh, of the other uh, people on the bench. She defied me. And she came in a hot. She came in a hot, man. She came in a hot. But I can tell you one thing. I could tell you one thing. Fanny, Bonnie, and Donald Trump are the same person to me. She's just a black, a, a female version of him. If you're going to take down Donald Trump, if you're going to take down Donald Trump, you got to get in the mud with him. You got to do some a, a, a mud slanging. You got to do some mud slanging. I think, I, I, you know, I really don't know what the case is all about with Donald Trump in Georgia. Only thing I do know is that Trump pretty much did the same shit that uh, Hillary Clinton did. Uh, 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 cried about everybody is cheating him. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know uh, 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 beyond that. But what I do know is they got the right one for Trump. Uh, <laughs> she's she's just as... Uh, 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 I think that her and Trump 
should, should probably get married. I think that her and Trump should probably do a goddamn podcast together. She can go in there and, 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 and get down dirty with him. Ultimately, what I really think is the Democrat Party put this woman up there to look like a fucking idiot. They got her up there looking like a goddamn idiot. It, it, it makes everything that that we grown up to, to believe as a joke that that college means something. Man, that woman was talking like she was still in a, a, a third ward or something, man. Man, that woman was, uh, uh, if somebody give me a G, <laughs> if somebody give me a G, I know that's a thousand dollars in and where I lay my head, uh, uh, where I lay, I mean, she's talking like a whore in the court. Where I lay my head, where I lay my head. Everything about that, uh, she was hood fabulous, and I love it. I love it. But I wouldn't love it. I don't think it was the right move to make uh, going after. Uh, a former president that's going, that's trying to, you know, re-up, trying to go in there. She was very mad. She was very emotional. She didn't seem prepped. She didn't seem prepped for any of that. And all of these, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to say women, uh, but everybody talking about, you go, girl. Uh, uh, you did that. No, no, she didn't do that, man. She's like a fucking fool up there. She look like a fucking fool up there. Okay, I will put it to you like this: You take your black ass up there and try the same uh, uh, tactics that she was doing. Oh yeah, she's the top cop in uh, uh, Georgia. Well, probably like like the second or the third top cop. Uh, but this didn't look good, man. It didn't look good, but I love her. But I love her because <laughs> I love her, man. I love her. <laughs> that big old, uh, that big old beige booty, <laughs> that big old beige booty. <laughs> I love it. Nah, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. Nah, she was just sassy and she was just out of control. I wish she could have handled herself a little bit better in court, but uh, she got, uh, she let her emotions get the best of her.